so today I'm talking about a P0740 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0740 code? Well, it's a torque converter clutch solenoid circuit. And what does this mean? Well, basically it is what's called a torque converter. And this is what connects the engine to the transmission. It's located right in front of the transmission and it's connected to the shaft going into the transmission and then bolted to the engine. And this is where the power from the engine is getting transferred to the transmission. And the computer is controlling this with what's called a torque converter clutch solenoid, which is just a small solenoid that the computer is sending a signal to so that it can control the torque converter. But when you get a P0740 code, the computer is seeing some kind of problem with that solenoid. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0740 code? Well, the first thing to go and do whenever you have a transmission problem really is if possible is go check the transmission fluid and be sure that it's not low, that it's not really super dirty or anything like this. Some vehicles nowadays, you won't be able to check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can go check the transmission fluid, be sure it's not low, that it's not really super dirty or anything like this. Because if it is low, then those solenoids can't work correctly. Also, if that fluid's real dirty, then that could cause problems. There's a filter located inside those transmissions. And if those get clogged up, then that also can cause problems. So first thing to do, if possible, is be sure that the transmission's not really low or it's not really dirty. And the next thing that could cause this is that that torque converter clutch solenoid's just gone bad or there's a wiring problem going to it. If you do go to work on your vehicle, you will need to get a diagram where everything's located, where that torque converter clutch solenoid is at, because it's going to change. It's really going to vary but you can go and locate it and you can test it and see if it is having issues. Basically to test these solenoids, you check and see what the rated ohms are supposed to be. So for example, right here, it's 4.9 ohms and you get a multimeter, you set it to ohms and you check to see if it's inside of that range. And if it's not, if it's outside that range, if it's too high or too low, then you know it's having a problem, you know it needs to be replaced. You can also check the wires going to the solenoid and be sure that it's getting voltage, that it's got a good ground and things like this. A lot of people, when they get this code, they'll race out and replace that solenoid. But I would definitely suggest that you test everything first before you replace it. But the next thing that's going to cause this is a bad torque converter clutch solenoid or the wiring going to it. And the next thing that could cause is that the torque converter has gone bad. There's some kind of issue going on with it. And I have to say, every single time that I got in this P0740 code, it's actually been a bad torque converter. This is kind of strange since inside of the definition of the code, it says solenoid circuit. So that does kind of point to an issue with the wiring. And that solenoid and that wiring is definitely listed as something that can cause this. So for sure, if possible, go and test those. But every time that I've gotten this code, it turned out to be a bad torque converter. There's some different ways to go about testing that torque converter. There's some good YouTube videos on that. If you happen to drain the fluid and you change that filter and you have a lot of metal shavings inside of there, that torque converter might be having some kind of issue and be having some kind of problem. If that was the case, I would definitely do some more tests on that torque converter because the next thing that could cause this is a bad torque converter. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of mechanical problem going on with the transmission and that's causing that clutch solenoid not to be able to work correctly. And this is going to be something like a clogged up passageway for the fluid or a bad valve body or something along those lines. Usually if that happens, you'll be getting a lot of other codes. So if you are getting a lot of other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of transmission mechanical problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with a P0740 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.